The Death of Stalin is a comedy satire film and stars Steve Buscemi. Now, I have been looking forward to this film for a while now. Before this film even came out, I never even heard of it. But then this film started getting a lot of praise and everywhere I saw in the trailers, it kept getting five stars, five stars, five stars. And even after watching the trailer, my expectations were very high. And after watching it, while it is a funny movie, in the end, it's a film I don't see myself coming back to, and quite honestly, it's not that memorable. I'll get what I liked out of the way first. The performances from all the actors was phenomenal. And the real standout in the film was Steve Buscemi, who I think gives the best performance I've seen from him in a couple of years. And like I said earlier, this was a very funny film. Although, if you're looking for this comedy film to be laugh out loud, you're not gonna get that. The film's comedy is more subtle, and the humor comes from what the characters say and what incidents they get into. So you're pretty much more guaranteed to chuckle than laugh out loud. But unfortunately, this film has issues that definitely hurt the film. Firstly, it takes a while for the film to get going. The first 10 minutes were very slow and it took a while for things to get exciting. And throughout some points in the film, it did become boring. The film also has a very complicated plot that does make it hard to follow. And I did find myself losing track of the story the more it went on. Overall, this film was just good, not great. But in the end, I I still very much enjoy the film and I still found it to be very funny. And I'm going to give The Death of Stalin an 8 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. As always, I'm The Next Five. Thank you for watching.